The last I checked, by New Jersey's own criminal code, an admission of guilt requires some type of accountability and restitution. I look forward to the governor, the speaker, and the Senate president to do the right thing in fast-tracking this bill the way they fast-track bills that mean something to them. Put up or shut up. Show us this means something to you. We're doing some uh, historical work here in the state of New Jersey. We're also righting some uh, structural wrongs and some systemic harms. Uh, so as a member of the assembly, I'm happy to have these ladies standing with me in the assembly as co-sponsors of a reparations task force for New Jersey. I am the great granddaughter of sharecroppers. I am the great granddaughter of sharecroppers. So for me, this legislation is not about a southern rooted entity of slavery, but about the harms and the slavery codes that impacted New Jersey, the redlining the curfew laws, the social inequities, the educational <coughs> inequities, the environmental inequities that include lead in the water and poor air quality. All of those injustices were by design. So we're looking forward to this task force really working with bright minds to come up with reasonable solutions that we can take a peek at for reparations for the citizens of the state of New Jersey. From 250 years of slavery, to 90 years of Jim Crow, to 60 years of separate but equal, to 35 years of racist housing policy. And a criminal justice system that policies incarcerates and punishes black and brown individuals in vastly different ways than their white counterparts. There should be no surprise that in 2010, the medium net worth for black families was $4,900, while to the medium net worth for whites was $97,000. It is a time we begin the long and painstaking process to rectify our past. The reparations task force, while some may try and think of this as just a context about paying restitution, it is an idea of trying to look at this ugly stain in our history of one human trying to dehumanize another and recognizing the unfortunate consequences that we still deal with today.